I think that one... I was going to say it might be far enough away that I want to get a mount, but... Honestly, sometimes I just prefer, even if it's a longer distance, I just go on foot so I can just experience the areas for the first time. I prefer to do that on foot. This will be in my stash when I need it. That might be the bandit camp, actually. Hmm. I can't scan it, it's too far away. Sorry. There you go, I've got a fox hide. That's one of the things I needed. There you go. Leap Lasher. That does not sound good. I don't even know what it's weak against. I don't know what that elemental even is. But it has a... Ah, okay. Chain reaction. Nice. Hardwater at Talmak. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And then we've got this guy. We've got a green shine fragment up there, but... I didn't even realize, I forgot we could go up these. I think I'll get that. Well, at least try. <coughs> yeah, that's quite nasty. <coughs> um. Yeah, I don't even know how to climb up there. S okay, the Sky Drifter at last. Attachable. Weak spot, indestructible. Could break off its tail, stop one of its attacks. I mean, can it even see me from there? Does it know where I am? I don't think so. Yeah, it's only curious. I'd love to be able to take that Sky Drifter out and then get the green shine at the top. I don't even know if I can make my way over those things, but... Yeah, I barely did any damage to it, though, with the tail. But at least if I do take out that tail, I might benefit later. Wow. <laughs> they look worse than the Glint Hawks. But yeah, it's going to do that and then come back. There you go. You see it's gone. Nice. Since it's a new enemy and it's it might be a level 16, I don't know. I, I've never really been able to know if that's just a designation number, like it's machine number 16 or if it's level 16. But... Tag those weak parts again. I feel like this is all just sealed off to me. It's gonna fly back up here now. Don't find green shine too often. Okay, so I kind of stole it and ran. I think for now that's that's good enough. Given that they're not very common finds. A 
still has a lot of its health left too. Wait. These guys are enemies though. Yeah, okay. So you've got rebel charges and stuff now as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to get sucked into that. I managed to evade them, so I'm going to just continue on. Need to get that first tool neck. Get it from my stash later. There's sort of light everywhere now. Of course. Yeah, you see how quickly they get alerted to you. I don't even think you can stealth kill these guys in one move. But maybe I can just override them, which is almost just as good. Close by. Keep pressing start, but I want to go back to the st stealthy one. Nora Huntress. It should give me data on the surrounding area. There's a lot of them. I think I should probably activate this one. Ah, but it's quite far. Screw it. But yeah, they get alerted fast. Even though I've got like the stealthier gear on. Also wondering what happens if one of them blows up. They don't die for starters, which is not good. But the rest of them evacuate. Okay, it does die from the burning office. And it gets the rest of them out of the area, which is good. So I guess that's one way to do it. That's a surprise. Okay. That must be plain song. The Utaro tribe's home. Built on top of old satellite dishes. <laughs> wow. Right, at least I'm very close. So I'll just I'll keep my focus on the tall neck. It's nice to see these guys again. The gentle giants. Okay, so we have to Oh no. Yeah, so the thing we avoided last time, we're gonna have to get this time. I guess for this one, like a rope caster is a good idea, if you can manage it. Should we just trigger off the fight? Why not? There's the weak spot. Oh, there's those arseholes that send out the signals. And they have a lot of HP too. Wow.
try and do a bit of that. How could I miss that? Come on. Come on, get it. Oh, man. I was so focused on taking that thing out that the stupid little scrapper got me. So, yeah. Now that we're out in the Forbidden West, things are starting to get more dangerous. The only problem is that it sends out a signal, so that's why I don't even really want to fight it. Because there's... there's here. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be yeah. like this everywhere. They've also positioned it very smartly, so there's these guys nearby. So once it calls for help, these guys are going to get involved. And you've got the scrappers and stuff too, so... That seems tough. Machines weak against frost. Yeah, so we definitely established that last time. Oh, what? I don't know how that works. That little shit came in again, like last time, but I'm ready for it this time. Oh, how did that miss? Trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys is not smart. Oh, they got like run over. Tall neck put in work. Oh no, there's three of them now. There's just too much going on. Do not get trampled after all of this. <laughs> that would not be smart. Oof. Yeah, one on one, it, it's one of these games where there is a massive difference where, between finding something one on one. Like one big, very difficult enemy versus three or four moderately difficult enemies. To me, I always struggle more with the when there's more of them around. Especially at the moment, I don't have stuff like the Rattler. I, w I used to rely on that a lot in the first game. That got me out of trouble a lot. So qu close quarters, I feel like I don't have much choice but to melee. Or to try and make accurate, fast-paced shots with my arrow, which is not as easy. But I'm definitely going to get more used to it over time. I mean, even on normal difficulty, the threat is definitely there, unless you're over-leveled, potentially. And again, there are plenty of healing plants around. Oh, shit. I guess I could help that guy. I don't know if they're making much progress against it, though. Right. 
Yeah, I, tr I tried to... I tried to rope caster it down, but... Move so fast. Okay, you're tied down now. How did I miss? There you go. Nice. Alright, you guys good? Are we gonna have like a... <sighs> the harvest! <laughs> Everyone alright? You saved our lives. More importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am Dain. You're saying that's a whole harvest? The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. So this is Utaru territory? It is. Our home plain song lies just down the road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. My people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking weapons or supplies, I know some of them will be willing to trade with you. Here. It's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. I can't take this. Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dine, you should go. Tell the others we have the harvest, and that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plain Song, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Dian's one of the cooks there. I'm sure he can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. Damn, what nice people. I unlocked some die. Okay. I assume I have to go somewhere specific to be able to do that. So this is an area I could definitely check out, but now I can um, sort out the, the tall neck business. But that was a nice quote. Any kindness you see, sure. you also sow. I like that. Also heard of more blessings because I'm generous, but that's from a Drake song. <laughs> Wisdom can be found in many places, yeah? Is there anything down here? Okay. Yeah, I do want to have a look at some weapons and stuff. I do remember a sharp shot bow. I, th I feel like I need that, like the tear blast arrows and stuff. I, I feel like I'm getting to the kind of time when I'm going to need that shit, so. I do need some upgrades. I wonder if they're going to have the Rattler, because close quarters combat was one of the much more difficult things in the first game. And the Rattler was a good way to kind of balance that out, because she just doesn't have that many things at her disposal when you're close quarters it's just a lot of like either melee or trying to use trying to be like a bit of a, sh a sharpshooter up close so the the rattler was a godsend this music's nice too by the way okay um let's get back to that tool neck as usual, just came, kept getting dragged around to doing different stuff. But that's a nice look. Tall necks are, also, are always fun to take pictures of as well. They broke out the rope caster very easily. I think I shot it two or three times with the rope caster, but it escaped pretty fast. Obviously, the plan is to pin it down with the with the rope caster and then 
and then do the frost damage, but... Wow, she clipped hard there. <laughs> Okay, worth it. Well, that was crap. Roger just bit my head off because he found my little addition to the dishes protocol. Who cares what he thinks? The tourists loved it. Every dish aligning one after another, playing their assigned notes over the alarm speakers, all perfectly paced. Music is math, after all. Scientists who don't appreciate the transcendence of the musical scale should have their PhDs revoked, if you ask me. Whatever. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I'll go check Doe and Ray. They have been sluggish lately. Might have to clean their alignment rotors again. Doe and Ray. Restore power to the console. She said it rotates, so my guess would have been that we pull something. But a break from the rain. Oh no, there you go, almost had a full death. I'm surprised you took so little damage from that, to be fair. Power terminal connected to satellite dish inactive, okay, fine. Finding some nice stuff here. I guess this is where I need to go after all, I think. Okay. Eyes to the heavens. Exhibits. The Western Grand Array proudly presents Eyes to the Heavens exhibit, where visitors are invited to explore the history of radio astronomy and learn what it's like to see through the eyes of our state-of-the-art telescopes in this all-new panoramic hollow experience. Want to see our antennas moving down the tracks? Ping our visitors' information center to get dates and viewing times. November special. We're getting ready for our 2059 annual viewing of the abandoned Odyssey spacecraft as it follows its orbital path above the Western Grand Array. Book early bird tickets and receive a complimentary hollow sculpture based on the original Odyssey blueprints. Always remember to turn off all implants and digital devices. So, again, 2059, the Odyssey spacecraft as it follows its orbital path above the Western Grand Array. But then it also failed and we saw like the the dead looking one as well um, early on with Val. So honestly I don't remember what the deal was with the Odyssey but I stand by what I said um, in thinking that it's, it could possibly have actually ended up making it somehow or there was more than one Odyssey. Or, I don't know. But it does feel like there's kind of something there. Alright let me get a view of this from the outside properly. Um, I don't know how to rotate it. There's this thing over here. Yeah, so that's what I think I needed to do. That's a part of it I didn't access previously. Yeah, okay. I was getting a bit confused because she wasn't saying anything either for once. Miss, kind of walk your way through the entire game. <laughs> it was oddly quiet that time. So we got this thing. I might have to approach it from the other side. Clip through that again. Yeah, so this was the that's the reason I screwed up. I still think she should automatically just snap to those ladders when she walks off them. The natural instinct shouldn't be to just fall down. Like, to me, that shouldn't happen. She should just snap down. But fine. There is a button prompt there. I swear, the, the majority of 
mistakes I make in a game is just, in gaming in general is just assumptions. You assume something is going to be a certain way, and you're wrong. But there we go. That's what you had to do. A power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should help me get things up and running. I just need to get it to whatever generator powers this dish. There's the generator. I bet this power cell can get it running. This is more work than I thought. I thought we were just gonna just I thought we were just gonna climb up this and that was that. Back. I should check that console I found out here. Let's have a look. Making you work for that first tool neck. Let's go. Let's see what this thing does. Find a way up the dish. Why is she just... Why is she jumping between these? There you go. bits, right? Can I just shoot them? Let's go! Perfect. Like, look at those little cracks and stuff in the satellite dish and the way that you can see like the water the moisture and stuff has created mold underneath it and bubbled up and stuff the texture is beautiful I should be able to get to that tall neck now just gotta find the right spot okay I'm sure there's multiple spots I feel like this one's probably okay looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck oh man <laughs> shit let me get to the highest one then yeah, they're, they're making you... Now, this kind of sucks, because if you miss it, then you missed it. So, <laughs> this is going to be annoying. Let me just have a look at photo mode here. Yeah, one of the things I wish they gave you a bit more of was like the ability to zoom out a bit further. But they don't. I'm going to be patient here. This is the highest point. And for me, the highest point means the least chance of screwing up. But the Tornik is slow AF. There's a settlement up ahead. Built under more of these dishes. Must be the Atari. Yeah, I think that might be my next stop once I'm done with this. Where is it? Yeah. See why I can trade there. Oh boy. My instinct is still to jump first to gain that little bit of extra height. Now she can't glide super far, so I'm going to try to. Ooh. 
wait till it's close. Get it. Oof. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad she kind of snaps onto that. Not. <laughs> I'm okay with suspending my disbelief on that one. Woo. Let's do it. First tall neck. First tall neck overridden. Beautiful. Oh, I get skill points too for that. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't need to repel down, man. Who the hell would deal with bullshit like repelling at this point? Ah! Again, you see what I mean? I can't zoom out far enough. No! That would have been a really cool shot. It's not quite there. I mean, you can kind of do something like that, but... <laughs> okay, we should resume. Nice. Always love me a tall neck. And I guess it, what, it kills all the machines around here? Interesting. Yeah, always fun to take photos of tall necks, for sure. And we've got four skill points up to level 10 too, so... We're doing well. Now... Uh... Wow. Ah, so you still get, it. still, okay. It still shows you the parts of it you haven't explored, but it does give you a bit more context. River Hymn. Plain Song. 